If you're blessed with a sense of smell, you've likely noticed that there are some pretty terrible odors in the world around you. You've probably also noticed that some people tend to soak them up like perfume from heaven. Common favorites include gasoline, raw meat, musty old clothing and books, our own farts, and even the dreaded skunk smell. Skunk? Come on. Aficionados of those things are obviously crazy. Or are you crazy because you don't like those heady aromas? Actually, neither one of you is crazy. Or you're both crazy. Whichever. According to Rachel S. Hers, author of the book The Scent of Desire, there's no such thing as an objectively good or bad smell. The connotation of a smell is based on experience, and that's how we determine what smells great and what doesn't. The experiences can be real. Maybe your fond memory of helping Dad fix the car on a sunny Saturday afternoon leads to a lifelong love for the smell of gasoline. Or your appreciation for the smell of old books might come from the hours you spent reading in your grandparents' basement during Christmas visits years ago. But the associations can also be artificial. You might like the smell of new cars or leather because they signal prosperity and wealth. Your experiences in life show you that people who are successful and wealthy are supposed to like those smells, so you're more likely to appreciate them too. If you like the faint smell of chemicals on new clothes, it might be for the same reason. When it comes to our own farts, believe it or not, it's pretty much the same story. Our own gas is familiar. It changes depending on diet and other factors, but there are subtle elements in the smell that won't change during our entire lives. And since humans find familiar things comforting and appealing, we tend to like our own farts. Alright, but what about things like the ridiculous corpse flower, which blooms infrequently and literally does smell like death? People plan vacations to gather from around the world to get a whiff of rotting corpses when the plant flowers for a scant few hours every decade or so. How can that possibly be related to any kind of affinity through real or perceived experience? Well, it isn't. That's a combination of the thrill of seeing something rare and an effect called benign masochism. Benign masochism is the rush that comes from doing something that should be harmful, but really isn't. Watching horror movies, riding a roller coaster, or, apparently, smelling a corpse plant. Those are all things that our instincts tell us should be dangerous and avoided, but they're controlled to a point of offering no real risk. Smell is one of the most powerful emotional triggers that humans have. Even if you can't clearly remember why you love or hate a certain aroma, there's something buried in your distant memory that makes it happen. For me, it's a certain brand of fabric softener that reminds me of my very very first girlfriend. What's yours? Let me know in the comments. And as always, like and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.